Oh man, oh man. D C Crush. I'm out here trying to get it. I'm trying to get a check. Check out my wrist, check out my neck. Okay. These niggas really mad yeah. and they be talking yeah. shit. Okay. And your nigga mad cause I just took bitch. Bye. I'm out here trying. What up, bitch? Yo. <sighs> One of them days, man. That bit dirty. I got a store for y'all. I'm gonna say y'all in a bit. Who's that? This guy. So, welcome to the vlog, y'all. Uh, sorry today's not gonna be an Integra video, but I will give y'all a quick update on Integra. I know you guys are always asking when I put all the videos out what's going with the Integra. Did Fish get Dino? <coughs> you guys better make sure you guys watch my live stream. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. You know your boy gotta be 10 toes down, hand on the wheel, pay attention, you feel me? So, um, quick story about the Integra. So, as you guys know, I was waiting for parts to come in so I can fix it because the turbo. It was missing a fire ring and it was missing the C clamps and the bolts for the C clamp. So, or that recently just took it to the shop on let's say Monday or Tuesday, I forget what day. And the guy has a uh, there's a car in front of mine. You know, mine mine was there for a little bit, so he, you know he got some more business in, you gotta put mine to the side or whatever, you know. That's all cool with me. I ain't tripping. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and resume this weekend. And yeah. It would have been done sooner, but uh, I had to go to these classes and stuff, and yeah, so I couldn't fit. I couldn't get there sooner so we can finish. So you know it is what it is. I'm not tripping. That's why you gotta have a project car, daily car. You feel me? In the daily, in the little daily, you know. So, but today, as you guys read from the title, I had to go to federal court today, uh, and it wasn't being a juror. I had to take the. I don't want to say take the stand because I wasn't a witness. It was my case. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about that whole experience. And I took him with me. And the reason I took him with me is because I kind of woke up late. And I didn't want to miss my court time. And the place is about 40. No, it was like it was like an hour away. It was an hour away, right? I didn't have time to go take him to daycare and then drive back. Cause I would have been behind like 30 minutes so it would take me an hour and 30 minutes just to get there so I will resume the story after I drop him off because I don't want to have no filters you know gotta keep PG with my boy back there you feel me gotta keep PG when he in the car and around me at all times you know gotta set a good example for my boy my little prince but I will go ahead and resume this story after I drop him off and I right, just go as you guys see my car is dirty as heck bro so I'm gonna go and wash my car real quick and then we'll resume back to the house and I will tell you guys what happened at federal court one dollar one dollar Clean her off real quick because she looking she needs some love boy. Look how dirty this is. Oh my gosh. Hot as hell in here. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is. It's 88 outside right now. House is like 20,000 degrees right now. If you guys ain't noticed, yeah, your boy is getting a little slow, you know what I'm saying? I've been hitting the gym. So, you know, I'm getting a little. Uh. Anyway, uh, 
Check out my fat man status, trying to get back, trying to get that summer body and have that all year round, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, don't mind this chair. I know you guys always see this chair here. My son keeps peeling this fake leather off and it's all around the house. I need a new chair. But, off of that. My bad, y'all. Uh, excuse me. Oh, shit. I'll get to that. I'll get to that later. My bad, y'all. Uh, have a bug issue here from the heat. So I gotta call my manager so I can pass Michael spray out here because this is ridiculous. Anyway, man. Um, so let's go ahead and get to this. So today I went to court and out of the federal court, and I didn't know it was federal court until I got there. <laughs> I was like. Well, I was like, this doesn't seem like a regular uh, county building, like county courthouse or whatever that is. It's been like, I don't think I've got a ticket like in five, six years, bro. So the reason I got a ticket, it was, uh, it was a traffic violation. So, I mean, I won't go into the details. But it was a, it was a traffic violation. Uh, and the fuck I was like, y'all. All right, so it was a speeding ticket, right? And where it was, I was going down the street and it was a, I don't wanna say a one way, but it was like a one lane street stop. I keep moving. I keep seeing these little bugs and trying to kill them. If y'all know if the breeze kills a lot of bugs and flies and stuff, I'm gonna make sure I a little bit. But anyway, so I had, uh, it, was a, it was pretty much, the whole street had two lanes, one each way. And I was following this dude for like, probably like about, a mile or two at this point, you know, going down this street. And a cop goes, a, a cop going the opposite direction. So I'm going like this, cop's going this way, like, you know? And it's two of us, so I'm following the other guy. And then he busts the, he busts the bitch. And he followed, like, he's like way back there now, you know? And he puts his sirens on, but I'm thinking, you know, like maybe it's like an emergency or something, you know? But he's far down there. So. He speeds up and he gets behind me. I'm like, oh, pull over, you know? And then he gets behind me. I'm like, ah, oh. So anyway, long story short, the guy said I was going 77 and a 65. And I'm just like, he was like, were you, uh, he said, Did you, do you know how fast you're going? I was like, no, nah. like, I was like, I was going to pay attention to my speed. I was just following the guy in front of me. Because mind you, I was on the phone, but not like on the phone, but my Bluetooth uh, speaker. And I was, I was on a very important phone call. So I'm like, you know, into the conversation, just drive behind the, drive behind the, uh, the person, you know? And yeah, I get pulled over, get a ticket. So he was saying like, oh, I wasn't trying to stop for him and that, uh, yeah, pretty much. But anyway, he didn't remember that, he was over for the speeding part. And I was like, okay, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So court comes today. Mind you, the court was like an hour away. You feel me? So I drove out there, had to take my son with me because I woke up a little late. I didn't set my alarm clock. Uh, got there on time though. And my son was acting up, bro. Like he was acting up. He was like just da, 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 da. like he was being a kid for real. He was being bratty because he'd be playing and then he'd be like, I don't mind him like playing, but it's like you know it's, like, it's a time and place for that. You know, at the end of the day, this is all my fault. I should have got earlier and took him to daycare. Let's just get that out the way, okay? So say the comments when you say that. I know. So if I do what I have to do because I have to go to court, you want to miss court. You miss court. Then you get a, uh, you automatically lose your case, and then you probably won't get an extra fee for missing court. Might get a warrant off of my arrest because I missed a court date. I don't want none of that. You feel me? Not knowing it was a federal court, so just imagine. And I'm gonna get to the, I'm gonna get to the, uh, I'm gonna get to the, the punishment, the maximum punishment that if I would have missed it, possibly I would have got that. But he just told me what the maximum punishment was in general, and I'm pretty sure I would have got that. So anyway, um. You know he's acting up and stuff. We go and I'm like, dang. So I have to like take him outside the court thing. Like since I got there, he was just like, bratty. So take him outside the courtroom uh, in the hall, and he was still like doing his little thing. He just did not want to be quiet, bro. He did not want to be quiet, mind you. I couldn't bring no. You can't have no cell phone. You can't have nothing. All you can have is your ID, 
your uh, your documents for court and your car keys pretty much. You know, you can't have nothing. So I couldn't get him a little toy to distract himself with. I didn't have my phone so he could watch. So I didn't have nothing. So he was entertaining himself the whole time, bro. The whole time. So that's how that went. And <laughs> the prosecutor told me, you know, they, they bring in the little room or whatever before. Because when I got there, there was a recess. So they read my rights, came back out. And I went to the room of the prosecutor, and he was like, okay, I'm going to reach. This is the, uh, he gave me, like, the statement that the police officer made, which is exactly what I told you guys. I was like, yeah, that's right. You know, blah, blah, blah. At this point, I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to go. I wouldn't even have intentions to fight it. Not that it was a federal court. I thought it was regular county court or whatever the hell, you know? And I was like, you know what? My son acting up. The ticket was only 60 bucks, you know? That's what it says on the, on the paper. It was 60 bucks. I was like, you know what? I am never going to try to fight this. I want to just do whatever I need to do to get out of here as soon as possible because like I'm telling you guys he was acting up <laughs> like he was acting up bro it's like yeah nothing was working I tried to give him a, a, a lollipop he didn't want nothing he just wanted to talk and talk and talk and it's cute but it's not cute in court you know what I'm saying you get kicked out of court or something like that and that's what I did not want to do so what they let me do is uh they let me send uh oh pretty much I told the guy, yeah, you know, do I understand, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I understand. He was like, okay. Well, I was like, you know what? I don't want to, I just want to pay the ticket. Because he seen that my son. I was like, you know what? Everybody seen that he was acting up, but they all understood. They were like, oh, we all, I have kids in the day. You know, everybody was understanding, but I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You know, I just can't apologize because I was like, I'm sorry because, you know, I know he's like, he's not, he's not going to be quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, I was like, I'm going to just pay it or whatever. He's like, okay. He's like, well, I can waive a $10 fee for you, blah, 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 this and that, and uh, this will be your total, blah, 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 blah. Cool. You know, that's what he told me, but the judge is going to be, you know, ultimate on whatever happens. So he's like, you can just stay in here because you don't know your kid, blah, blah, blah. So you can just stay in here when I call your name, I'll call you up to come up there. Cool. Sit in there. So I'm going to sit down, chill. Talk a little bit, but not nearly as much. Or not. When I mean he was talking, he was like, ah! like loud as hell, bro. So, it's like not no little, no, he was loud, like, disrupting court loud, <laughs> like, oh my gosh, bro, it's like, uh, uh, anyway, so, they called me in there to the stand, I was like, oh, they called you, okay, do the I walk up to the stand, bro, and I get to the little uh, podium or whatever, bro, as soon as I get up there, this boy just started, uh, like, you know when kids do that shit, like, they be all like, like doing all that, all that unnecessary shit. He was doing all that stuff. I'm just like, oh, no, not right now, bro. Not right. Now. Like, come on, bro. Like, we only need two minutes a week out of here. You feel me? I already said I ain't fighting this. I just read me wherever you go. You gonna read me the the highest. Uh, you gonna read me the highest uh, punishment or whatever, and all that stuff and blah 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 and yeah. So I'm just like, dude, just chill. So I'm like, okay, maybe he wants to stand. He's the judge is talking to me at this point, you guys, as he's doing all this. Like, I'm hoping maybe the judge is talking to me. There's people in the stands who are also having to wait for him to, you know, wait for their case or whatever. So there's people behind me looking at this. The judge is looking at you. Know how, if you've been in court, you know how it looks. So all this is going on, bro. And I'm like, okay, maybe he wants to stand while the guy's still talking to me. Put him up standing. Now he's just like, also, like, dead weight and stuff, like, oh, like, oh my gosh, I'm just like, oh man, this is so, uh, please, just, uh, not today, not right now, why you gotta do this right now, terrible twos, he wasn't terrible, three is a different story, I don't know what happened about, between the time that two and three happened, uh, right, I'm talking about like right before he turned three, I wasn't here the last two weeks before he turned three, and yeah, it's totally, you know, on his own. So anyway, so long story short, uh, the, uh, he was like, do you understand the, everything I told you? Because oh, pretty much he told me the, the punishment, he was like, the next punishment will be 300 and some dollar fine and 90 days in jail. So if I would have missed that court date and it was a federal court, I'm pretty sure they would have just threw that shit at me, you know? And would have gave me fucking, but what after my arrest, now I had to pay that fine, I would have got 90 days in jail. So, yeah. I'm gonna deal with what I dealt with. My son acting up, then missed that court date. 
or been late and they don't want to take me in. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, he was like, yeah, so I was like, yeah, I understand. And he was like, okay, so pretty much he told me that uh, my, to oh, it wouldn't go, uh, this, the, the good thing about this is, even though I got a ticket, I got to pay, yeah. It's not going to go into the state, so it's not going to be in the, um, in the state records. So that means it's not going to give me a point of my license or none of that stuff. <sighs> Somebody was looking out for me, bro. Somebody was looking out for me. So, and the fee was only 40 bucks. So, I'm happy about that. Uh, that was really, that, I mean, it really tests your, pa your patience as a parent when you got to, you know, deal with stuff like that. Like, it's like you're trying to calm your kid down, but they don't. No folks giving at that point. You feel me? Like, he ain't here, so I cuss. Yeah, well, no folks giving. He didn't care. He was, yeah. And then when we left the court, they gave me pretty, pretty much a piece of paper. Piece of paper like, oh, are you going to be able to pay this today? I'm like, I'm paying this today. They gave me a paper with all my information on it for my case and the website. So I just go to the website, put my little uh, information in and pay it off. Boom. Gone. I'm doing that uh, today. And as soon as we got out the building, tell me why this boy is all chill now. Chilling, put him in the car, give him his little toy. He just, you know what I'm saying? He was chilling. I'm just like, oh. So pretty much he didn't want to be in there. I don't think no black people like going to court. Because he definitely didn't want That was the first time that I know going there, you know, to a court. So it was just like, <sighs> nobody likes going to court, man. Not the kids. Not the three year olds. He definitely showed that. But I'm just glad that. Uh, Everything went okay, you know what I'm saying? I didn't go to jail. I had to pay no hefty fine because I was like, even when I seen the paper on my uh, from the ticket that when it came in the mail, because I didn't know how much it was gonna be when the guy gave me the ticket. I was like, because oh, I know California be tripping, but over here I know it says sixty, but since I was like, I'm not refining it, they just waived it. So all I got to do is pay forty bucks. I'm just like, oh my gosh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. So that was my experience of uh, going to federal court for the first time which was today, you know. I know some people, they get all dressed up. Well, it would depend on what kind of kids you have. A lot of people get all dressed up and try to look all sophisticated with their glasses and all that crap. I was like, man, I got some polo shorts on. Look, bro. I got some polo shorts on, bro. Polo shirt. You know what I'm saying? And I had my, uh, some of my Adidas. I had my, uh, blue and white striped Adidas on. You know what I'm saying? So, we was chilling. It was hot today. I didn't, I didn't get all dressed up for no ticket like that. So it had to be something more serious, you know? But for a traffic violation, I don't know. People just, I don't know if people understand it doesn't matter how you dress in court. I mean, don't, I don't dress all crazy, but I don't think it really matters how you dress. It matters, you know, the, the uh, evidence put against you. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like that. So. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I wasted enough of you guys' time if you made it through the rest of this video. If you made it through this part of the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, man. Dang, I know this has nothing to do with my integrity, but we put some content out, man. Uh, this ain't just an integrity channel, if y'all already noticed that. For all my new subscribers, and it's funny. And I know you guys, uh, I'm not just jump from two different subjects, and I didn't even finish not one of them. All right, so shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, I gained quite a few subscribers since I've been uh, live streaming. GT, what is that? What's that? I don't know what these bells are, but I'm going to show you guys. I don't know what they are. Maybe you guys might know. Maybe some of you guys in El Paso can tell me what kind of bugs these are. But they're in my grass. And there are a lot of them outside. But anyway, um, what the hell was that? Oh, shout out to my new subscribers. I got probably like, I think I got like 50 new subscribers since I've been live streaming GTA. And I literally only get, I know you guys probably see my GTA, I don't know if you guys like that or not. I literally, cause I'll be, I'm gonna be deleting the videos after I uh, post them or whatever, after I stream, sometimes I forget. But those videos aren't gonna stay on my lock. I mean, they're not gonna stay on the channel. I literally just get on there just so I can interact with you guys. If you guys be on GTA, we can play GTA together. I know they got that new, that new Mortal Kombat out. I'm thinking about getting that this weekend, but you know, I might not cause your boy gotta pay that ticket. And so, yeah, I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm not getting that. I'm gonna just play GTA. But um, yeah, I hope you guys like enjoyed this video, man. Like I said, I get on uh, PS. I, I have PS4, I have Xbox One. 
But I don't play my Xbox One by sell that because I'm bored of Xbox. I really don't care to play. It's I don't know why it's boring. Like I'm I've been playing since forever. I only got that Xbox. If you guys are OG subscribers, I got that damn Xbox because you guys said Forza Horizon Forza Forza or whatever, whatever, Horizon was dope as fuck. And I got that shit, and it's just trash. It's just boring as fuck. I don't know, like, I don't know you guys just be driving around just drifting and stuff. I was like, this shit boring as fuck, bro. So I never beat the game. I never beat the damn game. My Xbox, I use it, literally just use that shit for fucking YouTube. But anyway, appreciate sure like this video, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Shout out to my new subscribers. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this little story. If you guys want to hear more stories like this, just me, you know, story time throughout, you know, from time to time. Just, you know, you guys want to see my face, you know, we can do that. And I'm looking at this bug right now. That's why I keep looking over here. I'm going to show you all these bugs. So we go, we go in the, uh, we go in this story time right now. We go in this story time right now. And I'm going to show you guys these damn bugs real quick. Where are they at? These are like little flies or something. Well, these are flies. See those? It flies or something. I don't know. They're like everywhere, bro. They're like all in the grass. They're like all in my door right here. Let me see if I see some. There's one right there. Right. I couldn't feel them right there. You see, they just everywhere, bro. So they're all over here. I don't know what the hell this is. What's that? Somebody tell me what the hell this is. What is that? That's just smart too. But yeah, man, these things is like coming in my house, bro. Like, what the fuck? Look it. Where'd it go? See? Where's it at? Oh no! But anyway, y'all, this is about to be it. This, this is the end of the video. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, man. I better go ahead and call my property manager because I know they're coming out because it's hot. And if I wait too long, then I'm going to have a big fly problem or whatever those things are. That's, that's freaking nasty. And they're all in my grass, bro. <sighs> if somebody knows what those orange things are, let me know. But I think those other things are flies, like little gnats. I'll see y'all next video, man. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta deal with this shit. This is welcome to Texas, right? Fuck. Oh man, oh man. D C Crush. I'm out here trying to get it. I'm trying to get a check. Check out my wrist, check out my neck. Okay. These niggas really mad yeah. and they be talking yeah. shit. Okay. And your nigga mad cause I just bitch. Bop. I'm out here trying to get it, I'm out here trying yeah. to win. Okay. How the saying go, man, get it how you live. Bop. I'm out here trying to get yeah. it, I'm out here yeah. trying to win. Okay. How the saying go, man, get it how you live. Okay. I just put money in the bag.